reason could there be uh, uh, the reason that the Palestinians are not as willing, uh, in your experience, to uh, engage in that kind of dialogue or to even normalize the idea of talking to, to Israel? Uh, is that is the, does the power differential play a role into yeah. it? The, the, that yeah, Israel yeah, totally. is the occupier, and then totally. the Palestinians totally. are totally. they're occupied and they're not in control of uh, right. Israel. Not only has power, it's also had the the roots of institutions in, for at least 1920. If you even just take modern Israeli society, you had things like universal health care. You had things like uh, uh, labor unions. Uh, you had institutions that were formed in the 1920s, an army that was formed, 1920s, um, to give is Israelis a sense of roots and belonging to a country. Palestinians mm. don't have that. They have a very dysfunctional government, and that's all they have. They have that and uh, being combatants. So they don't have a lot to draw on to feel a sense of pride in who they are. So this is my opinion, totally. They, they use Israelis as the boogeyman, and for, for re good reasons. I don't mean it. Another thing that surprised me about them is the level of hatred towards Israel is disproportionate to how much they suffer. I personally, I state this all the time, and someday I'll do this. I would like to go live in the West Bank in a Palestinian village or city. I don't think it's that bad. It's not great. It's not terrific. But I was in Egypt and I was in Jordan. And I think the West Bank is better to live in. The West Bank, even the poorest places, uh, I've been to a lot of refugee camps in the West Bank. I don't think it's that bad. I live in South Tel Aviv and my conditions are very similar. Um, so other than it's easier for me to get a job and easier for me to make money. And yes, I agree. It's not, I'm not saying it's black and white. I'm just saying I don't think it's that bad. No Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries, advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.